Hi, it's Tessa and I'm here today because a little while ago I had a request to do a perfume collection video. I'm adjusting my camera here. And in all honesty, I don't buy a lot. I mean, it seems like a lot, I guess, in this bin. But I don't buy a lot of um, fragrance. I do have a few body sprays, but the fragrance is... I've collected over time. Um, I have one go-to scent that I wear all the time, and that's pretty much what I stick with. So, the first thing, I guess I'm going to start with the body sprays. I'm just going to pull one randomly out of this bin. The first one I have, and I guess I'll go through Bath & Body Works and then on to uh, Victoria's Secret. First one I have from Bath & Body Works is, you probably won't be able to read it, it's called Butterfly Flower. I love this scent for the spring and summer. It, it does have a, a heavy floral scent. And I really like it. So there's that one. The next one I have is called Apricot. And this is from the Signature Vanillas. And I bought this in the summer as well. And um, I really like this scent too. Definitely summer scents. Another one I really like is called Forever Sunshine. Um, very nice scent. As you can see, I used pretty much of it. And then I think that's all I have from Bath & Body Works. So Victoria's Secret, I have Love Bitten, which I don't think is available anymore because I bought this. It was on clearance for $2, but it does smell really nice. It's definitely a winter-fall scent. I also have, oh, I missed one from Bath & Body Works, Paris & Bloom. Very pretty scent. I think these only come out certain times of the year because um, Bath & Body Works is known to release scents for different seasons, and I think that might have been summer season. The next one from Victoria's Secret is called Pink All My Heart. This one's okay. I wear it, but I'm not, like, wild by it. Um, I'm pulling ones out that aren't Victoria's Secret. Then I have the original pink, and as you can see, all I have left is a little bit. This is just a little bottle. Really, really like this scent. Um, then from Victoria's Secret, I also have little sexy little things. And this is just a little bottle. Because if you go over by the register, you can get all these little bottles of stuff, like for 10 bucks, I think, 10 or 12. I also have Sheer Love. This is a beautiful scent. And it's an anytime scent. You can wear this winter, summer, spring, fall. It doesn't matter. It's just really nice. And then two more body sprays, and the rest are perfume. I have this one from Mark, which is a sub company of Avon. And this is Get Misty. I think that's all it's called. Jasmine Petal. I don't know if you can see the Jasmine Petal part on the back. This is definitely another floral scent. It smells very close to the Butterfly Flower by Bath & Body Works. And then I have this from Ulta. It's Pink Sugar Hair Perfume. This is a very sweet um, scent. My husband doesn't like it, so I don't wear it that often, but it's a nice summer scent. And then for perfume. Um, I don't know if this is available anymore either. This is Flower by Cynthia Raleigh, and it's from Avon. The bottle is so cute. I really like the bottle. Um, this smells really nice, but it is a heavy floral scent. From Victoria's Secret, I have Satin Rose de Mai, or something like that. I don't know. These were on clearance, so they may not have them anymore. I think I was in there, and these were like 10 bucks, so I bought two bottles. I used one completely, and then I have this one left. I have this um, designer-inspired Taylor Swift Wonderful perfume that I bought that I haven't used yet. I just bought it recently. This is my hands-down absolute favorite scent. This is my signature scent. I wear this every single day. As long as I keep carrying it, I will keep buying it. This is Victoria's Secret Rapture. One of the best scents, in my opinion, they've ever made, and it's old school. <laughs> You have to find it on the very bottom shelf, tucked in the back, you know? Then I have Love Sweet Love by Philosophy. This is such a pretty, pretty scent. So nice. Light and fresh. 
I also love this scent. This is the Indian Coconut Nectar by Pacifica. I have this in a rollerball, and I carry that in my purse. It might not even be in my rollerball collection, but um, that never leaves my purse, the rollerball. Then I just got this Love and Toast in Honey Nectar from Ulta. Um, I haven't really worn this yet, so there's that. That's a rollerball, so that starts my rollerball collection. It smells really good. Let me put some on. I didn't put any perfume on today. Um, rollerballs. Let me get rid of that. I have Tahitian Gardenia by Pacifica. And you can buy this anywhere Pacifica is sold. This is an awesome scent. I also have Sheer. And this is from Aerie. It's alright. It doesn't really smell that great on me. Then I have this Fergie Roller roller ball from Avon. This is Outspoken Intense and the regular Outspoken. It's a dual-sided one. I have um, Be Delicious Apple and the Be Delicious Apple something. Golden Delicious maybe. Anyway, it's a dual-sided one too and I lost it. I can't find it anywhere. I'm sure it's in a purse somewhere, but I don't know where. I have a Jennifer Aniston roller ball. This is a really nice scent. I have Step Into Sexy. This is by Avon. I never wear it. It's full. And two more. I have Loverdose by Diesel. This is an awesome scent. I got this at Sephora. And the last one I had it have, I got it at Sephora also, and it's Poetica by Kat Von D. And the bottle is so pretty. And I did place an order on Black Friday with Bath & Body Works. I got, um, they were having three for three. So I got some new body sprays that I do not own and some hand soap. So as soon as that comes in, I'll do a haul. But that is everything I have in my fragrance collection. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.